Hi, this is Maria at Rice, Beans, and Mixed Greens, and I'm speaking to you today in my post-workout grubbies because uh, for this third week update, I wanted to really talk about the subject of nutrition and weight loss and how that's uh, been going in this experiment. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, how much weight have you lost? How much weight have you lost? How do you feel? That kind of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, address it here. Um, so this is the 21st, 22nd, 22nd day of, of the project. It is uh, May 1st today. And so far I've lost 8 pounds. Um, the first four pounds of that came within five days, so uh, it's leveled off considerably since then. Um, it, it hasn't been too bad. Um, I'm not real concerned. For a while there, I was, I was afraid I was going to lose um, more than 10 pounds, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I, I just want to stress again that this is not a, a weight loss plan <laughs> that any any sane human being should follow. Uh, I am a, a pretty fit person. Um, I, I work out a lot. I enjoy working out. And I have definitely lost a lot of muscle mass, which is not a good thing. Uh, that'll actually cause you to gain weight over time. Now, I can always get that back, but it's going to take a little work after I'm done with this. So, um, you know, when, when athletes are losing weight for a competition or whatever, generally they cut their calorie intake a little bit, and then they also increase their protein intake and decrease their carbohydrate intake, and I have done the complete opposite of that. So, <laughs> so that should probably tell you uh, that it's not necessarily the best thing to do. Um, in terms of how I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. Um, I've, I've definitely lost some strength. I've lost some endurance. I haven't been able to exercise as much as I would like. Um, I just I don't have the energy for it. Um, so you know, I've just been kind of trying to take it easy and do what I can to maintain my fitness level. Um, but like I said, I've, I've lost a few steps, and I know that. Um, but other than that, uh, I, I feel fine. And actually, now that I'm in the last week, I can kind of see that light at the end of the tunnel, which is great um, because I don't have to ration the food that I do have quite so stringently. Um, so I've been able to up my intake quite a bit, and uh, that, that helps a lot. I've been feeling a lot better the last couple of days by doing that. Um, in terms of what I'm eating and what I'd like to be eating, um, it's, it's interesting. The first week or so that I was on this, I really missed, you know, all of my usual junk food indulgences and cookies and chocolate and really good coffee um, and things like that. And lately I have been having a lot of cravings for things like fresh fruit. Um, I was, I was watching TV the other day and there was a commercial and it had this cut in half orange that was just like juicy and, and I just kind of looked at it and was like, oh, fresh orange, you know. Um, so I, I'm definitely missing stuff like that. I mean, if, if I could have anything in the world to eat right now, probably a great big fruit salad uh, would, would be awesome. Um, I definitely still want to have some coffee and uh, definitely want to have some chocolate but it's it's interesting that my cravings have really shifted to, to fresh foods and part of that might be you know my body telling me you got to get off this starch stuff one thing that's been really hard is uh, that everything I eat is brown so I eat oatmeal for breakfast every morning uh, pretty much every day for lunch I have rice and some kind of beans uh, for dinner, I either have more rice or more oatmeal, or I have uh, maybe some uh, pasta, you know, with a little bit of something that I picked from the yard. So that that's really starting to get challenging, and I, I've realized that having variety in your diet really is a luxury. Um, I've been doing some reading about the world food crisis, and most people in in undeveloped countries really live on, on staple commodity types of food. So you know, they really do live on rice or on wheat that they make into brown loaves of bread or uh, you know, some some other grain and, you know, maybe some beans or something like that. So that, you know, most people in the world live on things that are either white or, or brown. And that's the majority of their diet. Uh so 
you know, being able to have Chinese food one night and pizza the next really is a luxury, and uh, I'm, I'm definitely missing that. Uh, that that's been harder than I expected it to be. Um, I'm going to take a very long break <laughs> from oatmeal. I don't want to look at oatmeal, <laughs> and maybe ever again. I don't know, unless it's an oatmeal cookie form. That's about it. But um, getting pretty tired of that stuff. It's it's kind of emotionally draining, you know getting up at work and walking over the microwave and microwaving my beans again. Um, in other news, uh, it is only eight more days to go until the end of this project and I'm really excited about it. Um, the Blanford Nature Center Farm is going to be hosting an open house for me from 4 to 6 p.m. on Friday. Um, if you don't know how to get to the farm, you can find that on the Blanford website, and there's a link uh, from the blog to there. Um, it, it should be really fun. We're going to have it outside, weather permitting, of course, and uh, you'll be able to see some of the cool stuff that they're doing with the farm. And I'm actually uh, going to the Blanford farm on Monday afternoon to help out with uh, laying down some plastic and mulch for, uh, for the farm plot. Uh, which is uh, something that I know how to do pretty well. did a lot of mulching <laughs> in past periods of my life, so uh, so I'm pretty confident I can come in handy there. And uh, it's just a, it's a neat environment. So if you get a chance, if you're in the Grand Rapids area, come on out, uh, bring your wallet, and yeah, we'll have a great time. Um, other news... There's, this has actually been kind of a quiet week. Uh, a lot of the media stuff seems to have died down. Um, got a lot of media coming up in the next week, which is cool. There should be uh, at least one local paper story coming out. And I'm doing a couple of radio appearances. Um, so I'll be on WGVE radio um, during their morning show at some point during the next week, um, taping the segment on Tuesday. I don't know when they're going to air it. Um, I'm thinking probably Wednesday or Thursday, but I'll, I'll post that up when I find out. I'm also going to be on Catalyst Radio, which is uh, WYCE 88.1, and uh, that will be airing on Friday morning. I'm not sure of the exact time, but I'll, I'll find that out as well. So I'm um, really excited about the, the media response that I've been getting to this. Um, that's That's been really cool. And uh, a lot of a lot of response uh, in the general blog world as well, which is, um, you know, it's great attention. Um, donations are, are starting to come in. Um, I know for sure that I've collected $200 in donations in addition to my donation, which will be $220. Um, really hoping to get to the $2,500 mark, uh, that would be really awesome. And one of the reasons that I want to get there is because uh, Blanford and Mix Greens have actually been working with the musician Jack Johnson, who uh, some of you probably know did the Curious George soundtrack, uh, among other things. It's, he's a cool guy, he used to be a professional surfer or skateboarder, something like that, and now he does kind of laid back, uh, folksy music. Um, and he's really into the whole local food thing and, and working with kids on nutrition and things like that. So um, he has agreed to, or his organization, I should say, um, to match all the donations that we get in dollar for dollar up to $2,500. So if you donate, you know, $10, it's actually like donating $20. So anything that you could do would be awesome. Um, like always, there's the, the chip-in link. Um, on the side where you can donate online through PayPal. If you don't want to do that, um, there's also a link to the Blanford donation page. Um, you can send them a check. Or uh, if you want to get in contact with me through the blog, uh, we can make some other kind of arrangement. Um, so, yeah, I think that's that's about it for now. Things are going great. Uh, I'm in the home stretch. I'm going to make it. Um, <laughs> and uh, and I'm, I'm really excited. I, I hope lots of people can come out to the open house. I'll be posting more about that this week. And, uh, you know, keep, keep the comments coming. Keep the discussion going. There's, there's been some really great comments on the blog and lots of good discussion. So I um, just want to thank everybody who's participated in all of that. And, and please, you know, keep that up. And uh, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing for eight more days, living on $30 worth of food for 30 days. The end.